Hello, this is a video demonstration of my open EVSC kit that I just completed. Uh, this is a 240 volt, 45 amp unit. Um, it's equipped with a 50 amp contactor inside and a 6 gauge heavy duty uh, 50 amp input cable using the popular NEMA 1450 plug that uh, ranges and ovens use. The whip is a custom made one that's 45 amps and we have a nice 63 amp J1772 plug on the end. Before I completely seat that plug and fire this off, let's uh, check out the menu. So this is using the RGB real-time clock. And what that means is it will change colors to tell you different statuses as well as keeping track of the time accurately uh, with a uh, real-time clock on board. If we press this button to switch over to uh, sleeping, it will actually show our time in military hours. We press and hold to go into our menus. This is the same familiar open EVSC menu um, from my other builds. Our backlight type of course is going to be RGB and we're just going to leave that. And service level is set to auto and that works very well. So let's just leave that there. Now the max current. You can with adapters plug this into a wide range of outlets. Uh, you can turn it down all the way down to 6 amps and you can turn it up. So let's set it at 36 amps just to uh, lower it a little bit below the 45 amp max. And you can see it memorizes it. There's also a diode check, vent required check, ground check, and GFI self test. All these are on by default. You want to go ahead and just leave those on. Those are just in there for diagnostic purposes. The date and time I've already set. The delay timer can be activated. This is pretty cool. Press and hold to get in there. Say, yep, I want to go in there. And yes, I do want to activate this thing. Oops. <laughs> so let's go all the way around. Press and hold for an action. Press and hold. Yes. There's yes and no. Let's take the yes. Okay, so now when we exit out of this, we'll see something that looks a little different. The timer symbol is next to ready to let you know, hey, there's something in there. So let's hit this button. Um, it's going to play at 5 after midnight and it's going to stop at uh, 6.55 a.m. The reason to do that is to make sure that uh, you don't get charged a really high rate if you're a few minutes off on your clock compared to your utilities. So in this case, they're assuming that the nice time to charge is between midnight and 7 a.m. It's very easy to go in. I'm not going to go through all the steps of this, but uh, you can go in and set the start and stop and tweak it yourself. So let's deactivate that. So the box will charge at any time we like. <clears throat> let's seat the plug. One beep for connected. Here are the contactor closed, two beeps, and our leaf starts charging. Back here we can see the uh, run up time. This is how long in hours, minutes, and seconds that your EV's been charging. And our clock once again, and the amperage being drawn. You look at that compared to our kilowatt meter, and you see that they're very close. And that's it. Thanks.